Welcome to Thought Frontier. Have we actually reached true artificial general intelligence, AGI? Yeah, everyone's talking about it. This AGI buzz is real or just hype? Exactly. Like, is this the real deal or just, you know, more tech hype? Yeah. So let's jump into what your sources are telling us. But, okay. But first, like, what even is AGI? We got to be clear on that. Yeah, that's a good starting point because people throw that term around a lot. Right. Yeah. So both ChatGPT and Google Gemini seem to agree we're not there yet, at least according to them. Mm. But uh, Gemini kind of hinted that there's like some debate about how close we might be. Well, yeah. I mean, there's always going to be debate when you're trying to define something as, as complex as intelligence. You know? For sure. For sure. It's not a simple yes or no answer. ChatGPT, at least, really stressed that AGI would need to show like human-like understanding Asks. Learning, adaptability. Right. It would have to handle any task, not just the specific things AI is good at now. Yeah, that's a really key distinction, right? Like we have we have plenty of narrow AI stuff that's good at specific things, mm -hmm. but it doesn't have that flexibility, that that general problem solving that you'd see from a truly intelligent system. Right. It's like it's like comparing a calculator that can do like super complex equations right. to a human who can write a poem and learn a new language and fix a leaky faucet. Exactly. Exactly. So so then you have OpenAI's definition of AGI. Okay. Which is kind of interesting because they're the ones who made ChatGPT. Right. They define AGI as AI that can outperform humans in most like economically valuable work. Hmm. So a very practical definition. It is. It really is. And it kind of makes you think about the future of work and jobs and all that. For sure. For sure. But does their own chat GPT meet that definition? Well, that's where things get even more interesting, right? Okay. So one of the Geeky Gadgets articles you sent, this one's from December 9th, 2024. Okay. It says that OpenAI claims they've hit AGI oh. with their O1 model. Wait, they're saying they've already done it? That's what they're claiming, yeah. Wow. And this O1 model... It's apparently doing some crazy stuff like blowing through PhD level math problems. Really? Writing complex code, even showing creative problem solving skills. That's wild. It is, it is. But is that really enough to say it's actually AGI? Right. Like, is it truly intelligent? That's the right. big question, right? Yeah. And even, even the article points out that OpenAI admits their definition of AGI is kind of uh, fluid. Hmm. And there's a lot of debate amongst experts about if O1 really qualifies. Okay, so we've got this bold claim, but also people are kind of skeptical. Right. What are some of the arguments against O1 actually being AGI? One of the main ones is that O1, like a lot of AI today, it relies heavily on pre-existing data. Okay. It's trained on these massive data sets, and that's what it draws on to do what it does. So it's not really learning and adapting like we do in real time. Exactly. It's more about applying patterns it learned from all that data, yeah. which is impressive, but not the same as understanding or learning on the fly. I see. So that's one limitation. Yeah. What else are experts pointing to? Uh, another big one is this lack of generalizability. Okay. So like even if O1 can solve those PhD level math problems you mentioned, yeah. can it use those same reasoning skills to say, read a good story? So it might be really good at one thing, but it can't transfer that knowledge to something completely different. Exactly. And that gets to the heart of what general intelligence really means. You know, it's not about being good at one thing. It's about being able to apply your knowledge and skills to all sorts of different tasks and situations. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Anything else holding O1 back from the AGI crown? Uh, well, there's this, this big hurdle that AI is still struggling with in general, mm. that common sense, that contextual understanding that we take for granted. It's like, you know, when you're talking to a chatbot and you just know it's giving you pre-programmed responses. Right. Exactly. Like no matter how fancy the language is, it's just missing that spark of real comprehension. Yeah. AI just hasn't cracked that code yet. You know, mm. like understanding all those nuances of language, social cues, that intuitive knowledge that we get from just living in the world. Right. right it's yeah. still missing. So O1, impressive but not quite the AGI revolution some people are calling it. Yeah, I think that's a fair way to put it. It's a step forward, but we've still got a ways to go. Yeah, definitely. And and speaking of steps forward, there's another article you sent that I think we should talk about. Oh, which one's that? That Geeky Gadgets, one from November 14th, 2024. Okay. About some research coming out of MIT. Hmm. They're approaching AGI from a totally different angle. Now, this is where things get really interesting. Right. Okay, so what are they doing at MIT? They've developed this thing called the the ARC 
benchmark. They are C benchmark. Yeah, basically an IQ test for AI. And get this, they claim their AI has actually surpassed human reasoning on it. Hold on, wait. Surpassing human reasoning. That's what they're saying. That's that's kind of freaky, but also amazing. It is. It is. Tell me more about this ARC benchmark, though. What makes it so special? Well, they're not focused so much on, like, raw processing power or huge data sets. Okay. There's zeroing in on abstract reasoning, which has always been a major roadblock for AI. So it's not just about, like, memorizing information or crunching numbers. It's about being able to think conceptually. Exactly. Exactly. Like, solve problems in a flexible way. Be adaptable. Okay, so how did they make an AI that can actually outperform humans on that? What's the secret? Their breakthrough, it's something called uh, test time training. Test time training, okay, what is that? It's pretty revolutionary, actually. Yeah. So with traditional AI training, you give it all this data beforehand, and that's it, it's stuck with what it's learned. Right. But with test time training, the AI actually learns while it's solving a problem. Oh, wow. It can adjust its approach. So it's like it can think on his feet. Exactly. Experiment, refine its understanding in real time. That's that's pretty incredible. It is. It's much closer to how we learn. You know? you know, we're always adapting, building on what we know based on new experiences. Right. So how does this uh how does this relate back to OpenAI's O1 model hmm. and the whole AGI debate? Good question. And I think that's something we should definitely dig into more. Yeah. It might be that O1, even though it relies on all this data, it's still capable of some abstract reasoning. Mm. Maybe not as advanced as what MIT is doing, but still. So maybe it's not like one approach is right and the other is wrong. Right. Maybe they're both kind of pieces of the AGI puzzle. I think that's a great way to look at it, yeah. Okay, so we've got OpenAI saying they've hit AGI with O1. MIT taking this whole other approach with abstract reasoning and test time training. Right. And both sides have their strengths and weaknesses. Yeah. It seems like we're just scratching the surface of what AGI really means. I think that's a good summary. But there's one more big thing we got to consider here. What's that? The implications of all this. Oh, yeah. Whether AGI is here now or still on the horizon, like, what does it all mean for us? That's a big one. And to be honest, it's a little bit scary, but we need to be talking about it now, not when it's too late. Absolutely. So what are some of the biggest things we should be thinking about? Well, one of the most pressing concerns is the job market, right? Like... If AI can do most economically valuable work, yeah, what happens to human workers? That's a question that's already causing a lot of anxiety, and not just about like manual labor jobs, right? Oh, We're talking yeah. about intellectual tasks, creative fields, even decision-making roles. Exactly, things that were once considered like uniquely human, <laughs> and that leads to another crucial thing to consider: the ethical side of all this. Yeah, we need to be thinking about guidelines, regulations, safeguards, you know, yeah. ways to make sure this technology is used for good, not for bad. It's a huge responsibility. It is. And it's one we can't ignore. AI gets smarter than us. How do we make sure it's still working with us? Yeah. Like whose goals is it pursuing? Exactly. That's the million dollar question. And it's something we need to be thinking about now. Yeah. Not when it's too late. At the four, it's too late. Before we get to the point of no return. Exactly. We need ethical frameworks, guidelines for all this. Like it's not just about the technology itself. Right. It's about how we use it, how we control it. We have a responsibility here. Yeah, it feels like we're at this this crossroads, you know. I know what you mean. The choices we make today about research, development, ethics. They're going to have a huge impact. On the future, on our future, on what our relationship with AI looks like. No doubt about it. It's a, it's a big moment. But let's not forget about the potential benefits too, right? Right. Like, like, could AGI help us speed up scientific discovery? Yeah. Solve some of our biggest problems, like climate change? Maybe even push the boundaries of human creativity? That's the other side of the coin. Yeah. And it's definitely a potential upside that we need to explore. It's like we're opening this Pandora's box. Right. Full of both amazing possibilities and potential dangers. Exactly. So, O1, it's, it's a huge accomplishment, but maybe not the AGI everyone's hoping for. Yeah, I think that's a fair assessment. It's a big step forward. Yeah. But it also highlights how much further we have to go. It really does feel like we're on the cusp of something huge here. We are. We are. So, where do you think we're headed? Are we going to see AI that's smarter than us in every way? Hmm. That's a question that's been around forever, right? Yeah. It's no easy answer. But one thing's for sure. The journey towards AGI is full of fascinating challenges and possibilities. Yeah. And we're really just getting started. We are. We are. But one thing's clear. 
it's advancing at an incredible pace. Yeah. And the implications for, for all of us, they're huge. They really are. And as you keep learning about all this, think about what it even means to be intelligent, you know? Hmm, good point. Is it just processing power huh. or abstract reasoning? Yeah. The ability to learn and adapt? Maybe. Or is there something more, something that separates us from machines? This deep dive, it's just the beginning. There's a whole universe of AI out there. It really is. And it's a universe that's changing all the time. All the time. So keep digging, keep asking questions, and who knows what we'll discover next. Exactly. The future of AI, it's full of promise, full of uncertainty. Yeah. And it's up to all of us to shape it. It is. That's the exciting part. All right. Well, that's all the time we have for this deep dive. Keep those questions coming. Keep exploring. And we'll be here to help you navigate the ever-changing world of AI. Absolutely. Always more to learn. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me.